Hello dear students, till now you have studied electricity and in the last topic of electricity you must have studied that current has heating effects. That means the current can produce heat. In this chapter we will just elaborate the magnetic effects of current that current may also produce magnetism. Now it was Orsted who firstly accidentally observed that the current can also produce magnetic effects. Right? Let us perform an activity which shows what Orsted actually did. We will just take a straight wire. When I am talking about straight wire, now onwards I will call it a straight. Instead of calling it simply a wire, I will be calling it straight current carrying conductor, right? A bit sophisticated, a bit, it should seem like you are talking about 10th class student science language, right? Funny, all right. So, straight current carrying conductor, straight wire in which current is flowing and we will just connect it with a cell or a battery and we will switch on the current. This is the positive terminal, negative terminal with the directions we will show that the current with these arrows, the current is flowing through this wire. Now, the end, this end we mark it to be AB. When we switch on this wire and if we place a magnetic compass here, first of all you must be aware but if not try to relate what exactly is a magnetic compass. This magnetic compass is basically a needle which is pivoted, joined in the center and it is just like a simple pointer needle which always points towards North Pole. Right? This always points towards North Pole. You need to relate what magnetic compass is. Now, when a magnetic compass was placed, let us say the point was pointing towards this direction, right? When we switched on the battery, then Orsted observed that this magnetic compass needle has got deflected. Rather than pointing here, now it got deflected, it got moved, right? It will only and only move when there is some magnetic field around. Right? Due to which Orsted concluded that there must be some relationship between magnet and current. So, it was deduced, it was observed, it was related that current can also produce magnetic effects. Before talking in detail about the magnetic effects, let us study a bit about what exactly magnetism or magnet is. We know that a normal simple magnet whatever we have seen till now is just like this right it is a bar magnet this is what we have seen the normal some most common shape bar magnet which has two poles north pole and south pole now a magnet has a unique property that if you cut this magnet from in between still it will exist in two poles north pole and south pole Again you will cut it, it will still exist in two poles, North Pole and South Pole. Even the smallest sized magnet exists in two poles, North Pole and South Pole. Right? And we, we know just like electricity, in magnetism also we know that like poles, by saying like poles, I mean to say North and North Pole or South or South Pole, they repel each other whereas the unlike poles that is the opposite poles north and south they will attract each other. This we already know right. Fine. This magnet is a bar magnet. It may be a circular or a button magnet or it may be this kind of a horseshoe magnet. There are different varieties or shapes in which magnet comes. This is the north pole. This is the south pole. Right? So, we will be talking just right now about bar magnets. Fine? 
Now we'll do an activity. What we'll do is in our labs, we will just take a sheet, normal plain sheet placed on a board or something. Right? Now on the board, we just took this particular plain sheet and in the center, we will take a simple bar magnet having two poles, north pole and south pole. Now what we'll do is with the help of a salt sprinkler or something, we will take iron fillings and we will just put the iron fillings on this board. Now we will just simply tap this board a little and what we will find will be a bit surprising. Right? Now what exactly we will observe is that that sprinkled iron, it doesn't actually all get stick to this magnet but this sprinkle iron is basically arranged in this particular kind of a setup. Fine. Now, these iron fillings are arranged in these particular lines. It simply shows that there is some force which is making them to be arranged like this. On the poles, we will find a lot more as compared to the center part. We will find more iron fillings on this particular pole sides, north pole and south pole both. Now, this particular arrangement, this particular arrangement of iron fillings gave us a new concept of magnetic field lines or magnetic lines of forces. Let us have a bit of idea about it. Magnetic field, what exactly is magnetic field? Magnetic field is that area in which the effect of this magnet can be felt. Right? For example, if I place some iron, any magnetic particle, you need to know that iron, nickel and cobalt, these are magnetic substances means they can be attracted by magnets. So, if I will place some magnetic substance here, it will be attracted towards the magnet. If I will put up here or here, it will be at attracted. But if I place the magnetic substances at some more distance, greater distance, now this magnet will not be able to attract. Why? Because the effect of this magnet is particularly felt within a particular area only. Let us assume that this is the area in which if we keep any magnetic substance, it will be attracted. Otherwise, if it is kept outside, it will not. So, we will say that this is a magnetic field. And in this magnetic field, these magnetisms, they exist in the form of these magnetic field lines. These are the lines which we call magnetic field lines or we also call them magnetic lines of forces. Why? Because the force, the strength of a magnet is felt in these lines above also and below the magnet also. Now, let us define the magnetic field lines and for that, we will perform another activity. Let us see how. I will take a bar magnet once again like this. Fine. Let us say this is a north pole and this is the south pole. Now, what I will do is I will keep a magnetic compass here. Fine. Now, I will just see where exactly the pointer of the magnetic compass points and I will put a mark at this particular point. Then I will just take the compass out from here and I will place the compass at this particular point where I have marked and now once again I will see where exactly is the pointer pointing. Now where exactly the pointer is pointing, I will once again place a mark out there. Again I will just take this magnetic compass out from here and place it on this particular point. Again, I will see where the pointer is pointing and I will place the mark. Same, I will continue doing and I will find that 
this pointer is going like this. If I am doing it below also, I will find putting up the marks, placing the magnetic compass, I will find that this is the way the needle will move. Right. So, with this particular activity, now I am in a better position to define the magnetic field lines. How I will define magnetic field lines or magnetic lines of forces? Magnetic field lines are the lines of forces along which the north pole of a magnet moves. These are the lines of forces along which the north pole of a magnet moves. Right? Let us see in detail what we have written. This is the north pole. This north pole is moving like this. It is going towards the south pole. The direction is this. In the downside also, we find joining these and connecting these points, we see that the north pole with the direction I can show is moving in this direction. So, this is magnetic field line. Similarly, we have all the magnetic field lines like this which are moving from north pole to the south pole outside the magnet. It is just like this. Just not exactly a kind of mess I actually wanted but I hope to make you understand, I need to make these few. These are all the magnetic field lines or magnetic lines of forces. The direction of all these magnetic field lines is always towards north pole to the south pole. This we need to remember. Fine. Now, a few things about these magnetic field lines. Let us see. These magnetic field lines, there are certain features or characteristics There are certain features or characteristics and one more word I would like to add here is attributes. There are times when this particular word is used attributes and students don't know exactly the meaning of this word and that is why they get confused as to what is being asked. So, attributes wherever you will find this attributes means simply features or characteristics alright. So, the features, attributes or characteristics of magnetic field lines. This is quite important. Please try to relate. The magnetic field lines features are number one. These magnetic field lines always move from north pole of the magnet to the south pole. They always move from the north pole of the magnet to the south pole of the magnet outside the magnet. I am talking about outside the magnet. Inside actually it is opposite. We will study in next topics that inside the magnetic field lines are opposite. They are moving inside. They move from south to north like this. It completes like this. Right. So, these magnetic field lines, they move like this. Fine. This is the first characteristic of magnetic field lines. Let us see what exactly is the second attribute or second feature of magnetic field lines. These magnetic field lines are magnetic field lines are closer to each other. at both the poles. At poles, these lines are closer to each other. And when I say that these lines are closer to each other, it means, means that strong magnetic field, strong magnetic field
is present at poles where these magnetic field lines are more there will be more strength of the magnetic field that means magnetic field is stronger at the poles as compared to at the center fine so this was the second attribute of magnetic field lines right now the third attribute and a very very important attribute this is important this attribute says that magnetic field lines never intersect each other magnetic field lines never intersect each other now this is quite important and why don't they intersect we'll take a proof by contradiction proof by contradiction you must have done in mathematics lot many times that we rather than proving that this happens or this does not happen we make a contradictory statement if i want to say that these lines never intersect each other so i will prove that if they intersect each other that possibility is there or not and if that is not possible then we can simply with contradiction we can prove that of course what we were saying was right and they never intersect each other let us see this is a magnet as we have talked about this is one magnetic field line right and this is another magnetic field line now what i am trying to prove is i am saying that if this is north pole south pole north pole south pole this is one magnetic field line in this direction now second magnetic field line cannot intersect the first magnetic field line no two magnetic field lines intersect each other that is what i am trying to say now if we assume that these two lines intersected each other at this particular point let us say a then in that case if i place a magnetic compass here that means the pointer is going to point in these two separate directions at the same time which is not possible the pointer of a magnetic compass cannot simultaneously point towards two directions right so that is why we say now that this particular thing cannot happen therefore this is the fact that magnetic field lines never intersect each other you are asked this thing in the examination and now i'll be telling you what exactly is the way you need to write it you will be asked why magnetic field lines never intersect each other your answer will be magnetic field lines never intersect each other because if they intersect at each other then the force right will be along two direction the force of magnetic field the force of magnetic field lines the force of magnetic lines of forces will be along two directions which is not possible fine so these are the three important attributes of magnetic field lines hope you have understood it now we'll be just talking about the magnetic effects of current try to study till here practice it thank you so much